Hello everybody, and welcome to my Wolfenstein The New Order Chapter 11 Collectibles Guide. In this video, I will show you where to get all the Enigma codes and gold, and the one weapon upgrade that is in this chapter. So, first things first, we'll actually start with, uh, well, it depends on which timeline you're in. I am currently in the Wyatt timeline, so we'll be getting the weapon upgrade first, but if you're in the Fergus timeline, you would technically get the Enigma code in gold first, and you will see why in a minute. So, for the weapon upgrade, once you've made it to this point here on the map, you'll recognize it because you can see their green area through there. There will be a bunch of soldiers here on your right, and there will be two door, and there will be this charging station on your left. Uh, once you've made it to the charging station, uh, right next to that there will be two doors. If you are in the Fergus timeline, you will go through this door. But since I'm in the Wyatt timeline, I went through this door and lock picked it. Uh, so once you go through that door, just up on the crate, there will be a targeting scope for the laser craft work. For your first piece of gold, uh, once again, if you're in the Wyatt timeline, uh, cut through this vent in the same room with the weapon upgrade and crawl through it. If you're in the Fergus timeline, you will just come through this door here. But either way, on the desk next to the vent will be a gold letter open. For your first Enigma code in the same room as the letter opener, on the bed will be Enigma code 61. For your next Enigma code, exit the room uh, and go back out into the hallway. And as you go down the uh, this hallway with all the rooms, the first one on your right on the bed will be Enigma code 62. For your next Enigma code from the last one, head back out into the hallway go down and to the next door on your left and just sitting on top of a little safe will be Enigma code 63. Maybe they should have put it in the safe to make it a little bit harder. For your next gold item from the Enigma code, head back out into the hallway, down a bit further and on your right. And once again, not knowing how a safe works, on top of it will be a golden tray. For your next Enigma code, once you have made it to this room and cleared everyone out, uh, head up the stairs and in the center, on top of this weird control panel looking thing, will be Enigma code 64. For your last Enigma code in this level, once you have made it to the final room where your objective is laid out in front of you, head to the left into this control room and on the desk will be Enigma code 65. For your next gold item, once you have advanced quite a ways and are looking at this, head over to it and look left and you will see just barely blinking away in the water. Not oh, there we go. Oh, good God, game. A golden skull. For your next gold item, once you have advanced into the next room, uh, looking at the button that you had to push, turn a little ways to your right, about 90 degrees, and on one of the shelves you will find a golden chamber pot. For your next gold item, back in the center looking at that, turn about 90 degrees to your left, and you will find a gold robot toy. And then for your final gold item in this map, uh, once again from the center, turn maybe 20 degrees if that to your right and on top of one of these posts will be a golden crown for your weapon upgrade for this chapter i'm not 100 percent certain if this weapon upgrade you have to get before it will advance to the new objective or not uh, if you've watched my let's play we already know how to get it but just in case it isn't uh necessary to advance the plot uh, the way you get it is there are multiple items in these pillars around the room and you will need to find the order in which to push them in. So this is the first one you push in. Uh, it looks like a little gear that you plug into something. The next one you push in is the ball, the spiky ball with full of holes. Then following that you push in this one that looks like some kind of I don't know, some kind of piston capacitor, something, I don't know. And then the ne 
Then the next one you push in is this one here that looks honestly kind of like the top end of a grenade, I guess. And then last but not least, you push in... No, hang on. There we go. Push in this one that looks like a copper coil thing. I don't know. And once you've done all that, you go over and you push the big button and this will pop out and it will give you... Laser craft work, upgrades, upgrades, reflected. Uh, here we go. It will give you the portable reactor, which will let your laser craft work fully charge without using a charging station. It is still very slow, but you don't ha technically have to worry about a charging station. And that is every collectible in Chapter 11 of Wolfenstein The New Order. Thanks everybody for watching, and I hope this helped.